Hello everyone, we are from group 11, would like to present our discussion about implementation of integrated pest management on Charlotte's cultivation. So, before we get started, let us introduce ourselves first. My name is Sandy Sawang with student number 173, and I'm a student with student number 172. Orang Adelina Hutahayan with student number 186. Firstly, what is the background of this discussion? The first one is, Charlotte become an essential community in the national economy which has a role as a contributor to inflation and so the government is trying its best to maximize Charlotte production. Mostly in Charlotte cultivation, pest control for the time being still depends on the usage of pesticides. But it was proved that the application of pesticides didn't give an effective output. Then, to support the good agricultural practice or GAP, an environment friendly method, namely integrated pest management to reduce pesticide use while maintaining the crop quality will be discussed thoroughly. The aims of the topic are provide an overview of the implementation of IPM and also provides information. The results of this overview can be the basis for controlling the use of pesticides to produce, produce shallots with low and sustainable pesticides residues. Next. Okay, this time we will discuss about pain injury caused by the following pests and pathogen. Next. Okay, the first one, onion strips injury to shallots. Strips cause damage to plants by piercing the cells of the surface tissues and sucking out their contents, causing the surrounding tissue to die. The resulting silver gray patch on leaves and the black dots in their exerta indicate their presence in the crop. Next. Okay. A basal rot infection in shallot. This disease begins with the rotting of the basal plate, which prevents, prevents water and nutrients from being transported to the foliage. Symptoms caused by this rotting include yellowing of the foliage and leaf dieback from the tips at early or intermediate stage of crop development. Okay, this is a major disease of shallow plants. The leaf miner injury in a shallow leaf. The leaf miner, a small black and yellow flesh, has been reported to infest the shallow plants. The identification process states that the leaves become dissolved and don't grow in the usual straight and upwards manner. And some leaves will lie on the ground. Some small, like green or gray, marks on in rows down the foliage indicates the points at which the flesh fed on the sap. Next. Okay. The implementation of IPM on shell cultivation. Shell amendments with pure products, filed application biopesticide, reduce some burn pathogens like fusarium and promotes build up of antagonistic organism and promotes all plant growth. The application of biofertilizers and abscular mycorrhizal fungi (AMF) promotes plants grow and converts resistant to biotic stress. IMF has been shown to increase resistance to root infecting pathogenic fungi like Fusarium sp and root infending nematodes. Maize as burial crop. 
growing maize as barrier crop has been effective in preventing the entry to of onion trips to onion fields and in the converse, conservation of coccinellid or ladybird beetle population. Next. This is a pheromone and sticky traps. Sex pheromone traps are useful to tools monitoring mass trap and timing of insecticidal application in management of cutworms. Spodeptera sp in unions fields. Sleeve type pheromone traps bait with pheromone slur as litsura were, were installed in the IPM fields at 12 hectare and the lures were repaired every two weeks. Yellow stick trip yellow stick traps were installed and 12 hectare just above the crop canopy using wooden poles at both ends. The oil was changed. The oil was changed its wick to ensure adequating trapping. Next. Yes. So the conclusion. The conclusion shall not become an essentially commodity in the Indonesian national economy because it has a role as contributor to inflation. Because of that, the government is trying its best to optimize the shell of production. However, as the usual essential plants like other, it's sure sustainable to pest and pathogen attack, trips, fails, mites, and soil burn pathogen, which will cause yield loss. By using integrated pest management methods, including soil amendments, bioproducts, mice as barrier crop, pheromone, and sticky trap will reduce spread will reduce red, red pesticide use as pest management and produce produce a better quality of shallot production. Next one. Okay, this is a reference. There are four reference. And finally we have arrived at the end of the presentation. Well Maybe that's all we can present. Thank you.